Hello friends, in this video, we will use common boolean operations to finish this part design. Please take a screenshot of this drawing before starting of an activity. If you are not familiar with boolean operations, kindly request to watch a video on boolean operations before starting this activity. We have provided the link in the description. First we will understand the concept. Assume that this part is 3D space. Assume that rays of light are coming from left side where the part is located. All rays are perpendicular to part surface as shown. This surface will not transmit these rays and they will create resistance. That means it will create a shadow backside as shown. Second case, assume that this part is 3D space. Assume that rays of light are coming from front side where the part is located. All rays are perpendicular to part surface as shown. This surface will not transmit these rays and they will create resistance. That means it will create a shadow backside as shown. Third case, assume that this part is 3D space. Assume that rays of light are coming from top side where the part is located. All rays are perpendicular to part surface as shown. This surface will not transmit these rays and they will create resistance. That means it will create a shadow downside as shown. Now, rays coming from X direction, this object's projection will be created on YZ plane. Second, rays coming from Y direction, this object's projection will be created on XZ plane. Third, rays coming from Z direction, this object's projection will be created on XY plane. Our first task is to create these three projection sketches on respective planes and then we will use the boolean option to make this 3D part. Select the part design from the drop down list. To create a new document click on this button. In a tree window, a document has been created. Create a part under this document. Add a body under this part and rename this body to body1. Select new sketch. First we will draw the XY plane projection. Turn on grid and set grid size to 2.5. You can make a sketch without grid also. We will make a sketch in a first quadrant. Select rectangle tool and follow the steps. These are the degrees of freedom need to be constrained. Select dimension tool to provide dimensions. Here, you can see the two degrees of freedom of small rectangle due to which it can move in XY plane. Let's constrain this degrees of freedom with respect to origin. This sketch is now fully constrained. Close the sketch. Click on body tool to add second body. Rename this body to body 2. Next step is to create a new sketch under body 2. Now we will draw XZ plane projection by selecting XZ plane. Turn on grid and set grid size to 2.5. We will make a sketch in a first quadrant. Select polyline tool and follow the steps.
you can see remaining degrees of freedom. Select Dimension tool to provide dimensions. This sketch is now fully constrained. You can see two projection sketches. Click on body tool to add third body. Rename this body to body 3. Next step is to create a new sketch under body 3. Now we will draw YZ plane projection by selecting YZ plane. Turn on grid and set it to 2.5. Select polyline tool and follow the steps. Provide dimensions as per drawing. This sketch is now fully constrained. You can see three projection sketches. Activate body 1 and select its sketch to extrude. Click on symmetric to plane option and provide dimension of 100 mm. Do the same process for remaining two sketches. Again activate body 1. Let's change colors of all bodies. Select all three bodies and click on Boolean Operation Tool. Select Common Boolean option from the drop-down list. Here you can see how the part is made using objects projections. Let's change the background color. Thank you for watching this video. Your comments are important to us. Please do not forget to give your comments.